right, here is your ultimate FAA Part 107 exam study guide updated for 2025. This guide will help you competently pass your remote pilot exam here in the U.S. If we haven't met before, my name is Heather Monthe, and I am a professional educator, a longtime flight instructor, and this channel is all about helping you pass the FAA Part 107 exam. And I do sprinkle in a little bit of aviation type of content in there as well. So what I wanted to do today is go over the new update for the Part 107 exam. It is updated for 2025 and you can download it. I've got the link for you in the description below or maybe you're watching it on another platform. We've got the links for you and you can download this document, get it free, it's available for you. So I wanted to just take a minute to go through the document, share with you what is in here. And I've got some information here, a link to my uh, Facebook group, just a little bit of information about me, a little bit of information about the Part 107 exam, and then a link to this video that you're watching right now. And what I've got here is a couple of tips to help you pass the FAA Part 107 exam. I've got a link here to some of the different books that are available to help you pass the exam. One thing I wanna share with you is that the FAA does publish everything for free that you need to pass the Part 107 exam. It's all available for free on the internet. It's in various PDFs. The problem is, is that it's in all these different places. And in some documents, you don't need to read the full document. You just need to read a, a chapter of the document or a subsection of a chapter. So what I've done here in this document is put together all of those different resources that are available and then tell you exactly what you need to read in order to, to prepare for the Part 107 exam. Now, you can purchase books that are available out there. Now, I've got a link here to my website. I've got a lot of different books and resources for you on the website. You can also purchase practice exams. And what I do suggest doing is that whatever guide or whatever study guide or whatever book that you're purchasing, make sure it is the most current and up-to-date version of it. Some books do come out each year. There's a new release that comes out each year. So you want to make sure that you're always looking at that you've got the most current information. You're getting the most current book. Now I've got some study tips for you here. You can just read through it. This is just to help you prepare for the exam. Now the FAA does publish everything you need to know about the uh, Part 107 exam. The Airman Certification Standards is your place to start. The Airman Certification Standards is where the FAA tells you exactly what you're going to be tested on. All right. And so you can get that for free on the internet. And you can also purchase a printed copy if you'd like, but I would suggest just downloading the PDF, print it up, use it as your study checklist. A lot of people that have received and downloaded this study guide in the past have told me what has been very helpful for them is to print up my study guide. You won't have clickable links, but you'll still have the digital version of it. But to print up this study guide, use that as a checklist, but then also use this Airman Certification Standards as your study checklist to make sure that you've covered everything that you need to study to prepare for the exam. Now, at the end of this document, I have a list of some of my YouTube videos that are going to be helpful for you as you prepare for the Part 107 exam. And one of those videos is how to use and how to read the Airman Certification Standards. And again, this is the FAA telling you 100% what you're gonna be tested on, how many questions you're gonna have in each particular area, all the stuff you need to know. So download the Airman Certification Standards, Next is the Part 107 Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems initial course that is available on FAAsafety.gov. This is intended to be for current Part 61 pilots. So this is going to be a manned aircraft pilot that wants to add on their remote pilot certificate. So this is not going to be enough to get you to pass the Part 107 exam, but this is gonna be a really good place to get some, some helpful foundational information about the Part 107 exam. The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge is a must for anybody that is a pilot and is involved in aviation. It is a very thick book. In fact, even the PDFs that are for free on the internet, they're broken up into multiple PDFs because the book is just so humongous. So the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge is one document that you don't need to read the whole thing. You can download the PDFs. There's going to be separate, separate chapters that you're going to read for the Part 107 exam. Chapters 2, 12, 13, 14 to understand those particular topics, aeronautical decision-making, weather, airport operations, okay? You can read the rest of the book if you would like. You don't need to, but this is what you should use to study for the Part 107 exam. Then, because you're going to become a 
pilot that is cert that is certificated under Part 107, which is 14 CFR Part 107 or the Code of Federal Regulations, you do need to know CFR Part 107 or 14 CFR Part 107. You can view all of the regulations on ecfr.gov, which is the Electronic Code of Federal Regulations. You can also purchase a book called the FAR AIM, all right? You do not need to purchase it. It is a thick document. It's got all the federal regulations regarding aviation. And then it's got the AIM, which is the Aeronautical Information Manual. It's got everything, everything under the sun that pilots need to know for the aviation, right? You don't need to purchase that book. Some people like to if they want the, you know, the actual book that they can read. But you can certainly get all of the information that you need about Part 107 from the Electronic Code of Federal Regulations. Advisory Circular 107-2A is a supplemental document to 14 CFR Part 107. So 14 CFR Part 107 is going to be regulations. The Advisory Circular or AC 107-2A is going to be a supplemental document. It's going to be guidance on the uh, Code of Federal Regulations. And then we've got a study guide here. The FAA has a study guide that you can download as well. The Aeronautical Information Manual, again, that's the second half of the FARIM. You don't have to purchase a printed copy if you don't want to. You certainly do not need to. You can go through and you can read the AIM on the internet. And for the Part 107 exam, you should study the AIM. Chapter 3 is all about airspace. Chapter 4 is air traffic control. You're not going to speak to air traffic control as a remote pilot, but you should read through sections 1, 2, and 3 because you will get questions on your exam about air traffic control in those particular areas. Air traffic procedures, Chapter 5, read that whole chapter. Chapter seven, read those sections, all right? So go through there, go through the AIM, read those particular sections. Now, uh, the airspace system is one of the most difficult things for people new to aviation to understand. And if you're coming into the drone world, becoming a remote pilot, and you're brand new to aviation, this can be very intimidating. So what I've done here is I've put together all sorts of different resources that you can use to learn the national airspace system. I do have videos on my YouTube channel. I've got links for the ones that are already published as of October 2024. And throughout 2025, there will be more published. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. You get the alerts. You get all the notifications. Get all that set up because I will be releasing more videos to help you understand airspace. So airspace is tricky. Uh, there's a lot to know about it. So what I've got here is in chapter 15 of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. You read that. That's going to give you some good information on airspace. You need to know the federal regulations on airspace. So I've got the specific uh, Code of Federal Regulations in Part 107 that you need to know about airspace. Chapter 3 of the AIM covers airspace in depth. You can read through that AIM. It's going to be, give you a lot of different great resources. Then you're going to need to know how to read FAA VFR sectional charts. VFR stands for visual flight rules. As a remote pilot, you will be operating under VFR. So you're going to need to know how to read these sectional charts. And this is where we take the 3D airspace system and put it into a 2D map, all right? And so you're going to need to know how to read those sectional charts. And we call them sectionals in aviation. So I've got a webinar that is really going to help you understand how to read those sectional charts like a pro. We've also got the UAS facility map, the FAA aeronautical charts user guides, and then there's a couple of different apps as well. And then Know Before You Fly is a really good website that you should uh, know and be familiar with it as well as you're preparing for your Part 107 exam. So again, a lot of these, most of these resources are free unless you want to get the printed copy of it. If you want to purchase a book off Amazon, you can certainly do that. And then over here, I've got links to different videos on my YouTube channel that are going to help you prepare for the Part 107 exam. So I've got different vi uh, videos on airspace, how to read those sectional charts, that webinar, how to use Sky Vector. Sky Vector is a tool that you can use to learn how to read sectional charts. You don't need to go buy sectional charts. You can use this to help you learn how to use them. And then I've just got some other sort of, you know, miscellaneous videos that are really kind of topics that a lot of people ask me questions about. So understanding METARs and TAFs, which is going to be your weather reports and just a general webinar that I created on how to get your drone pilot's license, sort of an informational webinar for you. And then a discussion on Part 107 exam practice questions. These are not the actual practice questions themselves, but really more a discussion on them. And then I give you some typical Part 107 exam questions, how to read that ACS, that Airman Certification Standards, 
Start there. That's your checklist. Print it up. That's everything that the FAA can test you on. And they even tell you in there how many questions you're going to get on each different topic. And then I've got a video for you on how to use the FAA computer testing supplement, which is a document that you will receive on testing day at the testing center. You don't need to bring it with you, but it's going to be a supplemental uh, document that you're going to use to answer some of your questions. It's going to have charts in there. It's going to have graphs in there. It's going to have some of these different things in there. I don't want test day to be the first time you see that document. It's free. It's a PDF that you can download from the FAA's website. And this video, I show you how to read through it, how to use it, and how you'll use it on testing day. And then I've just got some additional bonus links for you here as well. And so again, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of different videos coming out to help you prepare for the part 107 exam. And then I do have some really great partnerships with different drone education companies to provide you some really good educational training courses on different drone careers. So we've got a part 107 course. So if you want somebody that's just going to like sit down and it's got everything mapped out for you, you can watch all the videos and everything is planned out for you. You don't want to sit and read all the PDFs that I've got here for you in this particular document. You can purchase that part 107 exam. You certainly don't need to if you feel like you can study well using those PDFs. But if you want to watch those videos and everything is all pretty well aligned for you, you can purchase that part 107 course. I've got a great discount for you guys there. But then I've also got additional drone education courses to help you in your drone business, help you, you know, learn different skills as you start to, you know, grow out your drone business, things like this. So you can go to flyelectricmonarch.com slash courses. And that is where I keep that updated. I continually add more partnerships with different drone education companies. So that is the update for 2025. I hope you find this helpful and good luck in studying for your FAA Part 107 exam.